Peace Amenhotep III, a name that resonates with grandeur and architectural magnificence, ascended to the throne of ancient Egypt as the ninth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. His reign, a period of unparalleled prosperity and artistic flourishing, is often pinpointed between 1386 to 1349 BC or 1388 BC to 1351-1350 BC, succeeding his father Tukmo's fall. The Nile's east bank beheld Amenhotep III's architectural ingenuity through the awe-inspiring temple complex. This monumental endeavor, though later augmented by successive pharaohs, owes its inception to Amenhotep III. His crowning achievement within this complex was the colonnade, a testament to his vision and the era's architectural prowess. Amenhotep III's reign is marked not just by physical structures but by a cultural renaissance. Egypt, under his rule, became a crucible of artistic and cultural development. His patronage of the arts led to the creation of some of the most exquisite and enduring works of ancient Egyptian art. Sculptures and monuments from his time display a level of sophistication and realism that were unrivaled. The pharaoh's greatness was also established through his diplomatic acumen. His reign was characterized by peace and prosperity, largely due to his successful diplomatic relations with neighboring kingdoms. He skillfully wove a web of alliances through marriage and political treaties, ensuring Egypt's prominence and stability. This period of peace and affluence allowed for the resources and stability necessary for his grand architectural projects. The temple complex on the east bank of the Nile, in particular, stands as a physical manifestation of this golden era. The colonnade, with its towering columns and majestic aura, symbolizes not only Amenhotep III's architectural ambition, but also the zenith of Egyptian civilization under his rule. In a standing and appreciating the past, especially the era of Amenhotep III, offers a window into the greatness that humanity can achieve. His reign, marked by architectural splendor, cultural advancements, and diplomatic prowess, serves as a reminder of the heights to which civilizations can soar. It encourages us to seek knowledge, appreciate our history, and strive for greatness in our own endeavors, just as Amenhotep III did in his time. As we delve deeper into the legacy of Amenhotep III, we uncover the subtler aspects of his reign that contributed to his enduring greatness. Beyond the grandeur of his architectural achievements and the peace his diplomacy secured, Amenhotep III's reign was a period of significant religious development. He played a pivotal role in elevating the status of the god Amun, a move that not only solidified his divine authority but also enriched the religious landscape of Egypt. His administrative skills were equally commendable. He effectively managed a vast and complex empire, ensuring efficient governance and economic prosperity. His rule saw advancements in administrative techniques, including the organization of labor and resources for his monumental building projects. This efficient administration was crucial in sustaining the stability and wealth of Egypt during his reign. Amenhotep III's matrimonial alliances, particularly his marriage to Queen Tia, also played a significant role in his reign. Queen Tia, known for her intelligence and influence, was a key advisor and co-ruler in many respects. Their partnership exemplified the potential of collaborative governance, and the significant role women could play in the political sphere of ancient Egypt. In terms of cultural impact, Amenhotep III's reign was a golden age for literature, music, and the arts. The peace and prosperity of his era provided a fertile ground for artistic expression and intellectual pursuits. Literature flourished, with scribes and poets producing works that would influence Egyptian culture for centuries to come. Reflecting on Amenhotep III's era offers valuable lessons. His multifaceted approach to governance, combining architectural vision, diplomatic skill, religious innovation, and administrative efficiency, crafted an era that stood out as a pinnacle of ancient Egyptian civilization. His ability to balance these diverse aspects of rulership serves as an inspiration for modern leadership and governance. 
In essence, Amenhotep III's reign teaches us the importance of vision, collaboration, cultural patronage, and strategic governance. By studying his legacy, we gain insight into the rich tapestry of human history and the potential for greatness that lies within each era and leader. This knowledge of the past empowers us to approach our future with wisdom, creativity, and a deeper appreciation for the foundations upon which our modern world is built. Continuing the exploration of Amenhotep III's reign, we turn our attention to the international relations and economic prosperity that defined this golden period. Amenhotep III's diplomatic strategies were not limited to forming alliances through marriages, they also encompassed an extensive network of correspondence with other powerful leaders of his time. This is exemplified by the Amarna Letters, a collection of clay tablets that reveal the diplomatic communications between Amenhotep III and other Near Eastern rulers. These letters showcase his skill in maintaining Egypt's influence and securing its interests through shrewd diplomacy. Economically, Amenhotep III's reign was a period of immense wealth. This prosperity was not merely due to the Nile's bounty but also a result of his adept management of Egypt's resources. His reign saw significant advancements in mining and quarrying activities, particularly in the turquoise mines of Sinai and the gold mines of Nubia. The wealth generated from these endeavors not only financed his grand building projects but also bolstered Egypt's economy, enhancing its position in the ancient world. Amenhotep III's approach to deity worship and temple construction also had a profound impact. His numerous building projects included not only temples dedicated to Amun but also to other deities, reflecting a holistic approach to Egyptian religion. This inclusivity and patronage of multiple deities demonstrate his understanding of the diverse religious landscape of Egypt, and his intent to unify the nation under a comprehensive religious umbrella. The artistic achievements of his reign further highlight his commitment to cultural development. Amenhotep III's time witnessed the perfection of the Egyptian bas-relief, a form of sculpture that became a hallmark of ancient Egyptian art. The artistic renderings from his reign are characterized by a naturalism, and attention to detail that were previously unparalleled. The legacy of Amenhotep III is a powerful reminder of the impact a single leader can have on the course of history. His ability to blend architectural brilliance, diplomatic savvy, religious innovation, and economic prosperity set a benchmark for future rulers. His reign, therefore, stands not only as a high point in Egyptian history but also as a source of inspiration for contemporary society. By studying Amenhotep III's reign, we learn the value of a balanced and multifaceted approach to leadership. His legacy encourages us to pursue excellence in our endeavors, to embrace innovation, and to recognize the importance of cultural and economic prosperity in shaping a thriving society. His story, rich in achievement and influence, is a compelling testament to the enduring power of knowledge and the pivotal role of visionary leadership in crafting the annals of history. As we delve further into the nuances of Amenhotep III's reign, we uncover his significant contributions to international trade and cultural exchange. Amenhotep III's Egypt was not an isolated entity, it was a hub of international trade, attracting merchants and diplomats from across the ancient world. This cosmopolitan nature of his reign facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultural practices, enriching Egyptian society. The pharaoh's interest in foreign cultures is evident in the diverse array of artifacts found in his palace and temples. These included items from distant lands, such as Mycenaean Greece, Mesopotamia, and even the far-flung regions of Asia. This collection reflects not only Egypt's extensive trade network but also Amenhotep III's personal curiosity and appreciation for foreign art and craftsmanship. Amenhotep III also made significant strides in the field of medicine and science. The prosperity and stability of his reign provided an environment conducive to scholarly pursuits. Egyptian medicine, renowned for its time, saw further advancements during his era. Medical texts from this period exhibit a sophisticated understanding of diseases and treatments, 
underscoring the importance of learning and innovation in Egyptian society. The pharaoh's reign was also a time of significant urban development. Cities like Thebes, his capital, flourished under his rule, with the construction of temples, palaces, and public buildings. These urban centers became beacons of culture, religion, and political power, reflecting the might and sophistication of Amenhotep III's Egypt. Despite these achievements, Amenhotep III's reign was not without its challenges. He faced issues such as maintaining the balance of power with nobles and priests, managing the expectations of a growing population, and dealing with natural calamities like the Nile's flooding. His ability to navigate these challenges while advancing Egypt's prosperity is a testament to his skill as a ruler. In sum, Amenhotep III's reign was marked by a blend of tradition and innovation. His contributions to architecture, diplomacy, trade, culture, and science had a lasting impact on Egypt and the ancient world. As we reflect on his legacy, we are reminded of the transformative power of leadership that embraces diversity, encourages learning, and seeks to leave a lasting positive impact on society. The story of Amenhotep III, therefore, is not just a tale of ancient glory but a narrative that resonates with timeless lessons. It teaches us the value of curiosity, the importance of embracing different cultures, and the need for a balanced approach to governance. His legacy, rich in achievements and wisdom, continues to inspire and inform our understanding of what it means to lead with vision and integrity. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.